guys, it's Lily and welcome back to my channel and to a new video. In today's vlog, I'm gonna take you with me to Austria. Today is Wednesday, October the 2nd. Tomorrow is a holiday. <laughs> okay, was this for an accent gewesen? Tomorrow is a holiday in Germany and I'm gonna drive to Austria with my grandpa and we're gonna stay until Sunday and we're gonna do a lot of interesting stuff. We're starting pretty early today because I have to be at work in 40 minutes. So now I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna tell you about all the stuff I need to do before leaving. I have to be at my grandpa's at 7 a.m. I have to leave at like 6.30 But I mean he's driving so I can technically sleep in his car But with the way he's driving I should definitely keep my eyes open Today I have to work I have to go grocery shopping And I have to pack my things Packing my things also means I'm gonna show you That I have to unpack my suitcase Yes! Sorry for being a human. I still have to unpack this thing and then I have to repack it And I think that's gonna be my motto from now on I'm just gonna live for the trips and as long as I don't unpack my suitcase the trips never end Typical me. I have to clean my apartment. How many times I'm saying this like how about I just upkeep the tidiness got a lot to do today So let's start. Oh wow. Ooh. I'm ready for work. This is my outfit. So I gotta go to work now. See ya. Guess who's back from work? Hi. 9 to 5 Queen is finally back. I also already went grocery shopping. I'm pretty much done with cleaning. Except for this part. I'm gonna do some Pilates now. Um, I have like 20 minutes until I have to go to bed. You could think, oh, you already packed something. Nope. This is still my unpacked suitcase. This means two things. First thing, I haven't started packing yet. Second thing, I still haven't unpacked my suitcase. I, can, I, ju I just can't do it. Oh, I was looking for this. What else is in there? There's also stuff I never even took to Greece. Where is this coming from? Oh, I was also looking for this. Wow. Should I pack the book I didn't read in Greece to not read it in Austria? Made some progress. I don't know how I will fit everything in there, which makes me a little bit nervous for my trip later this year. I'm only gone for four days and I cannot fit anything in there. I think I need like maybe 20 more minutes and hopefully then I'm done. Ow, oh, fuck. Good news, I am done with packing. Bad news, I think I got indoctrinated by the royal family. I was packing and not paying attention and all of a sudden the weirdest, like, I don't even know what that is. That's the weirdest shit I've ever seen. I'm gonna show you like five seconds of this video. It's so creepy. What is this fuck ass AI voice talking shit about my girl Meghan Markle? But anyways, I got a shower now. Then I have to go to sleep and we're gonna see each other in the morning. I wanna cry. It's not even 5.30. I went to bed at 12. Now tell me why have I been awake since 4? The math ain't mathing. Maybe some higher spirit. Oh my god, maybe some higher spirit wanted to give me like more time to get ready because they already know that I'm gonna be late. Oh man. <sighs> I just had an Ariana Grande note. Queen of overpacking for real. Gonna pack up my car now. Ich, in, ich filme interessante Szenen für mein Video. Hello guys, we just arrived in technically Germany, but like Austria is like right over there. It's a little bit confusing with the borders here. I have to get ready now. My suitcase just ripped open. I'm also gonna give you a little room tour real quick. I have a TV, then I have a big bed. I have a table. I could put my clothes in here. Willkommen. Also got some super cute artwork. And of course, a little bathroom. I'm done with getting ready. That's the fit. I'm gonna go down to my grandpa now. He has a kitchen in his room. And I'm gonna eat something because I've only eaten grapes, which isn't good. I'm in the car now with my grandpa. And we're driving to a castle that we're gonna visit. I'm very excited to see what we're gonna see. It took us ages to find a parking spot. Everything is full of German people here because we have a holiday and everyone is coming here to Austria. I'm glad I don't have to drive and my grandpa did it. He's a really reckless driver so I thought I was gonna get killed but that's a different story. 
pouvait entrer déjà. Ich laufe halt einfach und du. Du sollst mitlaufen. Achso. Dankeschön. What a view. Oh, ist schwer. Oh, mit Herzen, wie süß. We just visited the castle. It was very interesting. But it's raining and very cold and windy. And we're done with the exhibition. So, gotta go now. Oh, I'm so tired. You don't even understand. Just found out that they don't have Wi-Fi here. Which, as a person who's addicted to the internet, is pretty bad. Also, I don't have any signal here. What is life? That's my question. Yeah, I definitely need to eat something. I also have to wash my hair. Technically already done for the day, but practically I have to do a lot of stuff. Which includes eating and washing my hair. Wow, my life is so hard. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Already put the oil. I cannot talk, what the fuck. I already started with my hair care. I put oil in it. I decided to get up, go down to my grandpa's, hang out with him a little bit. We have a lot to talk about always. And I'm gonna make myself some food. Let's consume this. Another super key thing. Going on a trip with your grandpa basically means that you have to wake up really early. Also, I want to show you something fun. This is the weather today. Let's see if this whole blowout thing worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most important part. I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna change into some other clothes and I'm gonna do my makeup in the car because we actually have to drive over three hours. Okay, I'm ready to leave the house. I'm gonna see you on the road where I will tell you where we actually go. We're uh, gonna visit the concentration camp called Mauthausen in Austria. This topic is one that really interests me since I was a teenager. If you don't know the concentration camp, I'm gonna tell you some basic facts about it. As I already said, it's in Austria and it operated from 1938 until it was liberated by the US Army in May 1945. They were around 190,000 inmates throughout this time and sadly about 90,000 or even more were actually killed through sickness, through the hard work like slave labor they had to do in the camp. I'm gonna try to show you some inside, but I wanna keep it respectful, so I'm not gonna show you too much. I can only recommend, if you have the opportunity, please visit such historical sites. It's super important to learn about that stuff, especially with everything that's going on in politics throughout the whole of Europe, but especially also Germany again. We should never forget history. We should remember what history taught us. I'm super interested in seeing what we're gonna learn today. In this area, it seems like a lot of different nationalities have their memorials for the people from their country that lost their lives. I've seen Hungary, I've seen France, I see an Italian memorial in front of me. It's very beautifully made. A lot of very carefully and beautifully crafted artworks here. I think online I've read there were people from 30 different nationalities here. That's absolutely crazy. I don't even have the words to describe it. We're on our way back now. It was very interesting, but of course very heavy. I tried to film some impressions, but as I already said, I recommend to everyone, if you have the opportunity, please visit a memorial like this. We're gonna drive back to our <clears throat> hostel now, and I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, but I'm also not in the mood to do 
anything fun. This will keep me thinking for some time now. And I guess that's what I'm gonna do, just thinking. <laughs> it's the next day. Me and my grandpa, we already visited another exhibition about the man with the mustache. We're at a place called Obersalzberg. And it was an exhibition about his life and everything. It was very interesting, but there were so many people. It was not normal anymore. There were also some kids. There was like a digital table where you could move around the pictures and zoom in, zoom out and rearrange them. And it was about the propaganda. I just tried to educate myself there were those fuck ass kids who played around with the pictures and I wanted to actually read so I always took the picture zoomed in wanted to read they took the picture away or they made their picture very big so I couldn't see mine anymore and they were laughing in my face I was looking at them with my deaf stare and they didn't stop heck what was the reason where are the parents uh, other than that there was someone making fun of my outfit but like <laughs> Who are you to judge? Ugly as white old man, but whatever. We're gonna go to a place called Königssee now. I didn't film that much today. Honestly, wasn't really in the mood. And we also didn't do that much. Oh, those are really annoying flies. I'm already packing up my stuff. I don't know how I do this shit, but my room looks like a trash can. It's so messy. And we have to get up early tomorrow again, so I'm already packing up all my stuff. Then I'm gonna go downstairs to my grandpa's and we're gonna eat dinner. Then I'm gonna continue cutting my video. Um, I've also just been in my thoughts a lot today and also yesterday because, you know, I personally cannot visit a memorial like this and go home and just be fine. I always think about the people that went through the actual historical event. Also with the political situation in Germany in mind. I don't know, this theme is just very heavy on me. Also, it's so random, but a thing I have thought about a lot. I showed you the weather, it's rainy, it's cold. Yesterday I was cold and getting wet and everything and I hate that. I mean, I was fully clothed, I had a thick winter jacket on and I had to think about all these people Man, give me a that lived through this hell, how they also experienced this weather. Weather like this isn't untypical for Austria and they didn't have a winter jacket and they weren't fed. I always think to myself, how did they survive this? It must have taken such a big strength and will to live. On the other side, there are all those lives lost in such a hateful and meaningless way. You cannot comprehend that really. How could that happen? And how can we, especially like in Germany, let this shit happen again. Like, I'm not saying that this exact situation is happening in Germany right now, but I mean, German people know which is one of the biggest parties and we know how much hate they spread. The people that lived through it in the past say it's happening again, please watch out and people just let it happen and I hate that. So even though I barely have a platform, this is just a reminder, never again means never again for all people around the world. We have to learn from history. We cannot let this shit happen again. Yeah, that's just something I had to think about today. I don't know. I think that's it for today. We are actually gonna visit another memorial site tomorrow and I'm gonna tell you more about that tomorrow and show you again as much as I think is appropriate to show. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and we're already on our way back. But as I said, we stopped at the concentration camp in Flossenburg. When we're done with that, we're just gonna go home and then that's it for the trip. I'm gonna tell you some basic facts about the concentration camp Flossenburg. I recommend you to read that topic up so you can learn a lot more. This camp operated from 1938 until the 23rd of April, 1945, when it was liberated. There were around 100,000 inmates and at least 30,000 of them sadly died. Again, through hunger, sickness, because of the hard slave-like labor they had to do. Also, of course, because of the brutality and the hate of the guards. Near this camp was a quarry, so these people were forced to mine the granite from this quarry. And as you can imagine, with no food, no adequate clothes, this was such hard hard labor. Surviving this was almost impossible. Again, there were people from all around the world, from Poland, from Bulgaria, from Hungary, homosexual people, of course Jewish people and so many more. It was again just hell on earth 
for these people. It's very interesting being here. The other memorial site, a lot of the original sites still stand and that's not the case here in Flossenburg. After the war, the people just wanted to forget about this part of history. Especially the German people, they didn't know anything while it happened and they didn't want to be confronted about it after it. So they used this site for a lot of other stuff. It's not that long ago that they created this memorial to remember what happened here. In this part of the museum they had a lot of pictures and stories about a lot of people that survived or sadly didn't survive. It was very interesting. I took a lot of time to read their stories. That was very touching. We're gonna drive home. It will take us about one and a half hours I think. I am back from the trip. I'm very exhausted even though I'm not even the one who drove all the way so my grandpa was he, he is definitely sleeping right now. I'm so thankful he took me on this trip. I definitely learned a lot. I really like spending time with my grandpa. If you have a good relationship to your grandparents, don't forget to spend time with them. If you have loved ones, don't forget to ask them how they are doing. But yeah, I know this wasn't a very fun video. I think rather informative, especially in times like now. It's just important to also talk about not so fun things, you know, talk about important issues. And I mean, I can post whatever I want. <laughs> Nobody's watching this, so it's whatever. I am excited to go on my next, I don't know how to call it, learning trip. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing great. Love you so much. Thanks for the support. And I hope I will see you in the next video, whatever that will be. Bye.